Hey there, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about my favorite fragrances to wear to bed. And I will say I have seven to share with you, well six and like an honorable mention. But I kind of just judge what I wear to bed more so on my mood um, and the time of year. Sometimes I want to wear the fragrance I'm really loving also to bed just because I'm in the mood for it. But these are more so fragrances that I tend to wear kind of always near the end of the day or tend to always wear, you know, right before bed or to bed. So they're going to be lighter, they're going to be softer, they're going to be calming. And yeah, so let's get into it. The one that I've already talked about uh, that I do love to wear to bed and it kind of just immediately think makes me think of going to sleep and winding down is the Ritual of Karma by Rituals. I won't get really into this because it's limited edition and it's not sold anymore, but this is one of those fragrances that just because of scent memory, uh, I associate with winding down, relaxing, you know, de-stressing, shutting off from everything and going to bed. It also reminds me of Spain because that's where I started wearing it right at the end of the day and yeah it's really nice it's got eucalyptus and bergamot and bergamot is one of my favorite notes of all time so it's just beautiful I kind of wish they hadn't discontinued this because I own many rituals fragrances and this one will always have a special place in my heart and it's one of the best if not I think still my favorite uh, but as it goes the good ones always get discontinued so really love this one and I still wear it uh, all the time. The other rituals one I'll just quickly mention is more so for wearing at night, wearing to bed, but specifically wearing when I shower right before bed because this is the ritual of hammam and hammam means shower or bath and this one has rosemary and eucalyptus and it just immediately, I love this one. It's just really refreshing but very spa-like, I will say. It's even more spa-like than Good Karma. This just makes me, again, because of scent memory, really just reminds me of showering before bed, winding down, dimming the lights, just getting zen. And it's a clean scent because of the eucalyptus, but it's very spa-like. And, and um, yeah, just the rosemary in this is beautiful. It's just a little sweet. And really really fresh so love that one this one I think is still sold and it's not been discontinued so yeah definitely check it out if you like it and this one has a little tassel love that then we've got uh, one that no one really talks about um, and it's just not really like a well-known brand it's Eau de Calidou and this is a French brand uh, or a Canadian brand rather a French Canadian brand and it's made in Canada and this is a baby perfume so this is alcohol free it just smells like like clean musk yeah it doesn't smell baby powdery but it definitely smells very clean kind of just like clean skin a little lemony a little fresh a little musky but nothing crazy and yeah it's really really soft of course it's alcohol free it's it was just one that I bought randomly off of Amazon because I saw um, I saw this being sold as kind of like a really soft fragrance that's obviously for babies, but I like fresh soft scents, so I thought I would enjoy this. And yeah, it's really nice. I have enjoyed wearing it, again, for before bed, because it's not going to last a very long time. That's not what it was made for, so I don't expect it to, but if you do enjoy kind of just soft fragrances and you want to try alcohol-free fragrances as well, Eau de Kelly Dew is a really nice clean scent fragrance. Then one, again, I've talked about wearing before bed a couple times on my channel, Heaven Scent by Dana. This is very much like an like a extremely musky, powdery, extremely powdery scent. It definitely smells dated. I think there's some oak moss in here, but I like wearing this before bed. It's very powdery. It's very soft. It doesn't last a long time again, so it's kind of perfect. On my skin it lasts about an hour or two I think before it becomes like a complete skin scent which is perfect to wear before bed again it's just clean and, and you definitely have to be into powdery scents 
and it does smell dated but at the same time I just I like I like that about it it smells like a vintage fragrance and yeah that's one I've really enjoyed since I've gotten it then a fragrance I've I feel like I've talked to death at this point but it's the truth you guys like I, I'm actually gonna share the fragrances I like to wear so I know I've mentioned this before but CK2 by Calvin Klein oh my god I love this fragrance I could wear this you know like from the early morning to night but I think because it's so relaxing of a scent to me and it's so intriguing of a scent when I'm like already just relaxing at the end of the day maybe I'm watching YouTube videos maybe I'm watching Netflix sometimes I just like to have this next to me and just spray it on myself even just now every time I smell it I want to spray it it this fragrance is unbelievable it is just so so unique and I've just said before it just kind of reminds me of like a fresh glass of cold water it has a wet cobblestone note I've used so much of this already and yeah I really really love it I'm proud of myself because I didn't buy any backups and I'm gonna just go through and enjoy this one but I love wearing this all day but definitely at the end of the day when I'm just watching TV and winding down before bed then one I picked up I think it was in January or February of this year and since then I have enjoyed wearing it before bed is actually from H&M and it's cashmere and I picked this up uh, somewhere in Europe when I was traveling and this is just like a very yeah it's a very soft it kind of reminds me a little bit of Eau de Calidou because it's a very soft like clean skin musky fragrance maybe a little bit of citrus but not too not too citrusy just like a clean soft white linen musky fragrance it's definitely stronger than Eau de Calidou it's a lot easier to get probably because it's from H&M and it lasts longer it's not alcohol free this is just the 20 mil and I think they're they were like five euros and yeah I've really enjoyed wearing this again it's just a really calming soft clean like linen powdery scents make me think of things I want to wear to bed when I'm just winding down sometimes you want like more of a sexy scent sometimes you just want to wear your favorite scent but in general I like to wear softer scents they don't have to last a long time and things that are comforting to me and that's definitely that so cashmere by H&M and then the one that's kind of like an honorable mention is more so just something I've always been in the habit of doing um, to kind of use up fragrances because you guys ask me how I go through my fragrances so much and it's because if I find that I don't like a fragrance that much that I want to wear it during the day or when I'm out then I'll use a lot of fragrances at night that I'm not too into or I'm kind of getting over because I'm gonna go to sleep anyway so I'll spray it on myself my pillow my blanket my duvet just like everything around me and so those are obviously more sprays than just spraying two or three on yourself and that's how I tend to go through fragrances even the ones that I'm not enjoying so one that I've kind of pulled out recently to try to go through is white musk libertine by body shop and this was I've mentioned before this was a fragrance that I thought I was gonna be super into and it actually like it's not one that I'm over uh, the smell of it by any means because I haven't actually worn it that much but in store I always tended to like this and then once I bought it I barely uh, wear this at all so I pulled it out of my collection from the other room where I keep most of my fragrances and I'm gonna try to wear it now along with some others before bed so I can try to put more of a dent in this and then hopefully one day finish it up so it is a nice fragrance before bed though because again this is just a fragrance mist and it's uh, a musky soft fragrance but this is not for the faint-hearted in terms of musk like you have to like musky fragrances to like this because it is very much like a pure white musk so yeah if you don't like musky fragrances this is not the one to dip your toes into with even though it's a fragrance mist so yeah that is my honorable mention thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye